not only do we have one of the best managed retreat projects in the United States, he also connected this to the watershed up above. Maybe you can flip that slide, Ty. Uh, and put up a bumper sticker that said, give a damn, free the sand. <laughs> so for the last 30 years, Paul Jenkins has been fighting to protect the coast of Ventura, California. <laughs> That is Paul Jenkins. Constant pressure, endlessly applied. He does his homework. He suffers no fools. He calls it like it is. It's sort of like Yvonne Chouinard. He's a first principles guy. He's been advocating for what's right. Year in, year out. Multiple administrations, different organizations, lawsuits, you name it. He's just persevered through it all. And as a result, we have a project that we as an entire organization can be so incredibly proud of. And if you went to any of the sort of climate action work today at this conferences, this is our case study to show what's possible. So Paul had the foresight 30 years ago to see all this coming and has stuck with it for that whole time to make it happen. Um, I couldn't be more honored to call Paul a friend, a colleague, a mentor, and a hero. So Paul, come on up here and accept the keeper of the Thank you, Chad. Uh, you know, I never, never did any of this for, for the recognition and, and the, the kudos, but I really appreciate it. Um, Chad came into the Surfrider Foundation shortly after the, I started this campaign, and, and uh, Chad really got it right away. And a lot of people didn't really understand what this was all about. So to have the support from Chad, from Michelle, from the rest of the Surfrider Foundation uh, really made this possible and is so meaningful to me because this was never a job or a career or something like that. This was just uh, kind of this long-term uh, psycho, never let go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, you know, ignorance is bliss, and I just see so many people just kind of being a tourist in life and accepting what's out there, and I'm just, I'm that guy, uh, I drive my poor wife crazy because we drive down the road and, oh, there's some stormwater runoff, and there's <laughs> beach erosion, and uh, thank you, Elisa, for supporting me for all these years. Because, be part of this growing network that is uh, really, uh, it's really building into something that if you were here 30 years ago, it was just a little small office with a couple of people and a couple of chapters out there trying to figure out what to do. And, and I think now that we've matured and evolved, um, we really are becoming a force to reckon with. So. Thank everybody here for all of the work that you do in your local communities. And remember, every every issue is local, and it's the locals that can make the difference. Thank you. Yeah.